So what is global warming and how does it affect our lives? So global warmings arise in the Earth's temperature due to greenhouse gases, and greenhouse gases trap in heat, causing a rise in temperature. Unfortunately, also causing glaciers to melt, sea levels to rise, extreme weather like we've been experiencing, snowing one day, 80 degrees the next, forests are dying, wildlife is searching for places to live, and the Earth is undergoing oxygen depletion. Okay, so how do cows contribute to global warming? Well, cows have microorganisms in their first stomach, and which digest materials such as the food they're eating, like grass and hay. And but at the same time, it's producing methane. So the methane is coming from when they burp or fart. And so methane is a greenhouse gas, like what was mentioned before, and it has an impact on the atmosphere 23 times greater than that of carbon dioxide. So everybody always hears about carbon dioxide and how bad it is with cars and everything, but carbon dioxide is bad. It stays in the environment longer than methane does, but there is more methane. So we have a video that kind of summarizes what we just talked about. So. sound like much, but methane's effect on the climate is 23 times more than carbon dioxide. Methane traps in the heat of the sun and makes the whole planet warmer. So each cow's emissions are about the same as burning 1,000 liters of petrol every year. Cows are mostly responsible for 18% of the total greenhouse gases worldwide. That's more than the entire transportation sector put together. There's good news though. Methane only lasts for about 10 years in the atmosphere unlike CO2, which can stick around for hundreds of years. So if we can find a way to get cows to produce less methane, then we would see a faster drop in global greenhouse gases. Clean cow is a simple way that you can contribute to saving our planet. What is clean cow? Clean cow is a vitamin supplement, also known as 3NOP. The vitamin is added to the cow's food which reduces the methane that's coming out when the cows burp and fart. It does not have any negative effects on the animal. If anything, it's just a positive effect with helping reduce the methane. And cows actually produce more milk with this vitamin supplement. So how does clean cow help the environment? When more people buy our next yogurt, more cows are going to be fed uh, food with clean cow. Therefore, less methane will be released into the atmosphere. And you helped our environment by all this, and all you had to do was eat this delicious yogurt. So advantages versus disadvantages of having dairy. Some advantages is that dairy is a good source of calcium, protein, and vitamin D. It also helps build and repair muscles, and it's very rich in potassium. The disadvantages are that the cows are releasing methane gas into the atmosphere. Next Yogurt has a solution. You can still get all the advantages of dairy while eliminating the disadvantages. Flavors and appearance. Our next yogurt can come in many variations, such as vanilla bean, strawberry slam, blueberry bomb, and peach punch. The next yogurt comes in an environmentally friendly and recyclable plastic. Our next yogurt is nut-free and gluten-free. It is also non-GMO. And it's vitamin fortified, which means it has vitamin D, which is also quality D. And it contains algal omega-3, which is like DHA. Okay, so our pricing for next yogurt, our pricing is going to be $1.99 for each cup. And for a pack of four, it's going to be $6.99. So in a pack of four, you can get that one single flavor that you like, or you can get each of the flavors. So where is Next Yogurt available for purchase? Um, it's available all over the U.S. and also in big food chains such as Walmart, ShopRite, Stop and Shop, and yeah. yeah. Oh, 
um, a lot of these other fish you probably won't recognize because they're like the bigger food chains in different states all around the U.S. So most importantly, our next yogurt uses milk only from cows that are fed the feed supplement that reduces the amount of methane gas released into the atmosphere. Does anybody know what it was? We mentioned it a bunch of times. Yes. No. Okay, so I it's, forgot what the question was. <laughs> what are we gonna give them that's gonna no. stop the methane? Clean yes. cow or three NO. Yes. Good yes. job. Okay, so these are what the cows look like before we give them our supplement. And this is what they look like after we give it to them. Wow. <laughs> Happy cows. Okay, so our target consumer. Next yogurt is for all ages, but as you're gonna see in our next slides, we're gonna be marketing through the children. So if we, when we market through the kids, it's gonna let them ask their parents. They're gonna be like, hey, I want this yogurt in the house. So the parents are gonna go out and buy it, and when it's in the house, then the parents are gonna be exposed to it, and it gives them a greater chance of them actually eating it. So by marketing through the kids, it's gonna have the generations grow up with Next Yogurt and keep our business going. So our advertising campaign, we will publicize through various social media platforms such as YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and BuzzFeed. So this is our advertising campaign for YouTube. We will have advertisements before videos and it will look like this. And this would be an introduction to people about our product. Okay, so our next advertising campaign is BuzzFeed and some of you may not have heard of BuzzFeed. So it's a digital media company and they have like a website as well as an app and they bring in more than 7 billion monthly global content views, so we'll really get our products out there. And it has news, quizzes, and videos. So what we think is we're gonna have news articles that inform people of what our product is. We're gonna have quizzes that can get our products out there, such as one that you'll see that we made. And it's about like what um, your personality, what yogurt type, or what flavor would be best for you. And so, well, we're gonna take the quiz. So we're gonna have uh, a volunteer, um, Two volunteers help us answer some of the questions. Okay, so this is BuzzFeed, if nobody's ever seen it before. It's a website. It's mostly for like younger people, but it goes people like 30 can use it too and stuff. I mean, okay, so everybody can use it, but it's mostly younger people. <laughs> okay, so who wants to be the first volunteer? Okay, your hand is up first. You can stay there. You don't have to get up. I mean, you can come up. Okay, so what is your favorite season? Spring. Good answer. Okay, who wants to be the next volunteer? What's your dream vacation? What's your favorite color? Um, <laughs> On a scale of one to four, how much do you like yogurt? Two. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. oh, what's your favorite place to visit? The beach. I like that too. Oh yeah. Okay. So, what's your favorite meal of the day? Um, breakfast. Okay. So that's all of them. Okay. So, based off of all of your combined answers, the flavor for all of you, if you were a single person, would be peach punch. So, based off of all of like your personalities and stuff, that's the flavor that would match you most. Um, so, our advertising campaign through social media, which will be through two very popular um, platforms, Instagram and Facebook, and the advertisements will come up on the consumer's feed, and it allows people to be exposed to our product without forcing it upon them. So this is what our advertisement would look like on Facebook, and this is what it would look like on Instagram.
So help us help humanity by buying and eating Next Yogurt, recycling, informing your friends and family about Next, and explaining the effects of cows on the environment. Oh. Next, proud partners of DSM.